Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now, in today's video, I wanted to provide you guys a full preparation guide for the girl who Tao, so you guys can go ahead and start preparing for her not only properly, but also efficiently as well. So we're going to be going over her Ascension materials as well as Talent Up materials, where to locate them and where to go ahead and farm those, so when... Hu Tao officially drops in the game on day one. You have her up to snuff and ready to go. So I do hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you get something from it. And let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at all of Hu Tao's ascension and talent materials, the things that you're going to need in order to go ahead and get her to level 90, as well as to level her talents up and things of that nature. So really quickly, let's take a look at those things. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can find the materials and be able to go ahead and start farming properly and efficiently for her so that way when she drops you have her ready to go and you can start enjoying playing with Hu Tao on day one now the first thing I did want to go ahead and mention is that this guide is obviously more for the beginner players and players that are not too familiar with Hu Tao and what she entails for all of you veteran players or players that are very familiar with Hu Tao um, this obviously will not be pertaining to you and if there's any information that I miss or anything that I forgot to go over I implore you go in the comments down below and uh, help everybody out as including myself <laughs> so um, first and foremost obviously you want to make sure you have your experience books, your hero wits, your adventure experiences. You want to make sure you stock up on those as it's going to take a lot to go ahead and bring Hu Tao from level 1 to level 90 if you're able to. The next things that you are going to want to worry about is the uh, material for the Pyro Regis find. Obviously, this material right here um, are what you're going to need in order to go ahead and level her up properly. So you're going to want to make sure you farm the Pyro Regis find, which we'll take a look at the power regis find and where to go ahead and collect those things here in just a second you want to make sure that you grab the whopper flowers as well and stock up on these as you're going to need these in order to level her up and you're going to need to farm the new geo vishap boss world boss uh the juvenile jades you're going to want to make sure to have those on deck and ready to go as well as the uh, silk flower is the material you're going to want to need in order to level her up as well so those are the materials that you're going to need in order to level up her ascension and to get her from level 1 to level 90. Now, as far as the talent level up materials that you're going to need, she does require the Book of Diligence as the talent level up material. And she does also require even more Whopper Flowers. So you're definitely going to want to make sure to stock up on these Whopper Flowers like no one's business. And make sure you have plenty of those ready to go. And then she also takes to further level her up is the material from the child boss fight. And that is this one in particular, the Shard of a Foul Legacy. So you're going to make sure to have those on deck and ready to go also. So those are for the talent talent up materials to level her talents up so now we're going to be taking a look at where to go ahead and grab these and be able to farm these efficiently so first we're going to take a look at the uh, silk flower and there are a couple of places where you can go ahead and obtain those one is going to be in Liyue so I'll go ahead and show you that right here you have the silk flowers which I can actually go ahead and farm these they're going to be at the top of those stairs right there and to go ahead and give you an idea on the map they're going to be right here in this area um, and like I mentioned at the top of the stairs, there's several locations you want to make sure to look all around You can see the silk flower over there as well And there are going to be more silk flowers over here also So these are the areas you want to go ahead and check out and make sure you farm these and go ahead and grab these every so often as they do regenerate and they do come back of course Let's go ahead and take a look at that other spot that you can farm those silk flowers at as well all right, guys, now the next location that you can go ahead and farm these silk flowers is going to be in this location right here. And there are plenty of silk flowers to go ahead and farm. It's going to be next to the Wangshu Inn right here. You'll be able to go ahead and teleport there. Go ahead and jump down. And when you do, right in this area are plenty of silk flowers you can go ahead and farm up and make sure you go ahead and gather. Now, you can gather them there as well as over here. And there are some more over there. But if you come on over here, just so you guys know, if you cross this bridge, 
there are some more on this side as well so you see there are some more over there um, so all over this Wangshu Inn or next to it are going to be fantastic places to go ahead and farm the silk flower and like I mentioned you're definitely going to want to make sure you do this on a regular basis so if you come over here as you can see there are more silk flowers here that I've already obtained so you want to make sure to get these as well just want to let you guys know of that now oh some more over here as well <laughs> now let's go ahead and talk about the other materials so for the whopper flower uh, you simply go to your adventure handbook this should be pretty obvious and what you want to make sure that you do is you go down to your uh, enemy the whopper flower himself and make sure you farm this on a regular and constant basis to where it has to refresh before you can do it again you want to make sure to do that each and every time so that way you have plenty of the materials to go ahead and level up your Huta because like I mentioned she's going to need that for the ascension as well as for the talent. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look now, at guys, those for the bosses. bosses this one should be pretty obvious I don't feel the need to have to go there even for my beginner players You should understand where they are because they're just simply on the map So for the pyros red is fine. He's gonna be right here You're gonna want to make sure to farm him up and then for the brand new world boss the geo vishap He's gonna be over here in this area. So you're gonna want to make sure to farm him He's going to be one boss that you're going to have to do quite often, so you're going to want to make sure to constantly farm him up. Now, the unfortunate part about Hu Tao is that she does take two world bosses to farm in order to level her up, which is really, really unfortunate in my opinion. Zhao and Hu Tao are the uh, two new characters that require these two new world bosses, and future characters might need them as well as we progress through the game, but any other characters do not. They only require one, so uh, rip Hu Tao and Xiao but anyways these two are what you're gonna want to farm for the ascension materials and that's basically what's going to go ahead and cover the ascension level up materials and what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is leave on the screen courtesy of devil Takiyaki Takoyaki <laughs> I'm so sorry I butchered your name I'm terrible with names but shout out massive courtesy to that individual for providing this guide right here so you guys know exactly how much of each that you're going to need and then I did want to go ahead and quickly mention for the level or talent up materials it's going to take the child boss fight which is over here in the golden house. So you're going to want to make sure to do that in order to get that drop of that material which is this one right here. We mentioned earlier the shard, shard of a foul legacy. So you're going to want to make sure you do that. Now in regards to the talent books let's go ahead and show you where that's at. And this is where it'll be for the talent book. The Taishan Mansion is where you're going to want to go ahead and farm the guide, teachings, and philosophies of diligence. This is, this is going to be the talent books that you'll need to go ahead and farm, which is right here um, in Juyan Karst, where you're going to want to farm those talent books up so you can go ahead and level the talents up of your Hu Tao and make sure you have those ready so you're gonna want to be doing this I believe that these drop on Tuesdays Fridays and then of course on Sundays so you're gonna want to make sure to go ahead and get those farmed up and ready and then if you have the crown of sage hoods ready as well which are from limited time events you can go ahead and get those prepared as well so in my recommendation on how you want to go ahead and proceed with farming as far as like a priority list uh, my opinion obviously the silk flowers you can go ahead and get those done and the whopper flowers you can go ahead and get those done because they do not require any resin after that my recommendation would be to go ahead and start farming those juvenile jades um, just because it's probably going to take you the longest to do those and then the pyro reg is fine to go ahead and get those ready um, now on Tuesdays and Fridays you want to make sure to be doing the uh, talent book leveling up so making sure that you save enough resin to be able to go ahead and do those and then whatever else you want to do from there now keep in mind a full preparation guide would not be complete without talking about the artifacts for Hu Tao now artifacts is a separate video that I can go ahead and do for you guys if you would like to see that let me know in the comments down below and make sure you hit the like button lets me know you want to see a video like that but uh, you're gonna want to make sure you set aside some time to farm artifacts for Hu Tao and once again we can do a complete separate video on that but that is part of preparing for her and getting ready for her for when she officially drops now the separate video would be in regards to what artifacts and when to farm those and, and things of that nature so Anyways guys, as far as prepping and getting ready for Hu Tao, 
that is everything that I have for you. That is everything that you'll have to do in order to get ready for Hu Tao for when she officially drops. It should be in early March that we're looking at roughly. Don't hold me to that. Do not quote me on that. But it is roughly early March, which is extremely exciting because that is right around my birthday. It's kind of an odd coincidence. So super happy about that. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. I hope this gave you some insight on what to do. And once again, this was videos for my beginners and newer players to not only Genshin Impact, but to this character, Hu Tao. Obviously, my veteran players and my players that are very familiar with Hu Tao already know this information, so it wouldn't be for you. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.